Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. As tensions escalate in the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, Turkish President Recep Erdogan is scheduled to travel to the United States on May 9 to engage in discussions regarding the supply of T-155 Fertina self-propelled howitzers to Kiev. The initiative, which gained traction following initial reports in February 2024, underscores Turkey's complex role in the conflict as it advocates for peace while strengthening commercial ties with both Russia and Ukraine. Despite its diplomatic efforts towards a peaceful resolution, Turkey has actively supplied arms to Ukraine, including Bayraktar TB-2 tactical attack drones and armored vehicles. The potential supply of T-155 Fertina self-propelled howitzers, funded by the Pentagon, marks a significant development in Turkey's involvement in the conflict. The T-155 Fertina, developed by Turkey in collaboration with South Korean defense companies, is a formidable 155mm 52 caliber self-propelled howitzer based on the design of the K-9 Thunder. Armed with advanced combat equipment and boasting variants such as the ammunition resupply vehicle and the improved Fertina 2 version, it offers enhanced range, firing capabilities, and crew protection. However, the sale of these Turkish self-propelled howitzers necessitates approval from South Korea due to the licensed production facilities based on the South Korean K-9 Thunder in Turkey. Fortunately for Kiev, the South Korean government appears supportive of Washington's stance on supporting Ukraine. Negotiations between Kiev and Ankara for the sale of the T-155 Fertina began last year but were temporarily suspended due to the blockade of U.S. military assistance. With recent approval from the U.S. Congress for a tranche of military aid to Ukraine, these obstacles seem to have been overcome, paving the way for potential transactions. In addition to the self-propelled howitzers, Turkish manufacturer MKE is expected to provide 155mm shells to the Ukrainian armed forces, further bolstering their capabilities. Kiev has also expressed interest in purchasing Soviet-era T-72 tanks, with Turkey potentially facilitating the transaction or other allied countries intervening if necessary. Turkey's attempt to navigate its role in the Russo-Ukrainian conflict while pursuing commercial opportunities raises questions about geopolitical implications and evolving regional dynamics. The final decision on these transactions will hinge on various factors, including the relationships between international actors and developments on the ground in Ukraine. As President Erdogan prepares for his visit to the United States, anticipation mounts regarding the outcome of discussions and its impact on the ongoing conflict. That's all for now. See you later.